So hello everyone. In this uh, session, we'll discuss matrix operations. So for this, we have to go to the open the Scilab. So we have opened the Scilab, and now we'll enter a matrix where. Uh, I'm storing the positive numbers as well as negative numbers. So this is our matrix, and there is an operation on a matrix which is known as absolute value. So if I say A B S absolute value of matrix A. You can see the positive positive numbers are being converted into negative values. So you can see the difference. Similarly, if I have this matrix, complex. The matrix that we generated in the previous session. So we are generating a complex matrix. We have generated a complex matrix. Now we want to calculate its absolute value. So we have absolute value nikalna chaare. So again, we will write A B S absolute value, and that matrix. And you can see the uh, absolute value is being calculated. So here, absolute value in this kind of matrix means uh, the square root of square value of real added to square value of imaginary. Yani यहाँ पर हम क्या कर रहे हैं रियल वैल्यू को स्क्वायर करके और इमेजिनरी वैल्यू को स्क्वायर करके ऐड करके उसकी अंडर रूट वैल्यू निकाल रहे हैं सो दैट इज योर एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू सो लेट अस टेक अनदर एग्जांपल ऑफ ऑपरेशंस अगेन वी डिफाइन वन मैट्रिक्स रैंडम मैट्रिक्स लाइक सेवन Three, one, eight, six, four, nine, and suppose I want to calculate the maximum value of this matrix. So we'll write this instruction M A X max. X. So you see, it calculated out to be nine. Okay. So in in whole in whole matrix, the maximum element value is nine. Okay. So we can have other calculations. यानी हम अगर इसको column wise कैलकुलेट करना चाह रहे हैं मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स कॉलम वाइज यू सी दिस इज आर मैट्रिक्स एंड यू यहां पे हम लोगों ने कॉलम वाइज मैक्सिमम वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट किया है यहां पे हमने लिखा है मैक्स एम एक्स मैक्स That matrix and within single inverted comma C that is column wise. So it came out to be seven, eight, and nine. And you can yourself verify verify the results. Similarly, we can write or uh, calculate row wise. So again, we have to calculate. Right, M A X, that matrix, comma, and then 
rho y. You can see rho y again it came out to be 7, 8 and 9. So now we again define another matrix. So we are again taking one matrix. So we define a matrix with first row. 120, 30, second row contains 40, 250, and third row 70 and 3. So now here we want we can have operation on matrix like we want to calculate the minimum value. So similarly, we'll write min that's matrix value and enter. So you can see the minimum value in the entire matrix is a, a one. You can see over here so similarly we can calculate column wise minimum value we write a c and enter so you can see column wise it came out to be 1 2 and 3 so we have this matrix now we can calculate the same value row wise, the minimum value row wise. So what do we call it? RO. We have a variable defined by RO W row, MI, which is equal to min, MI and min. Again, that matrix name and then within single inverted comma R. You can see it came out to be 1, 2, 3. Now this value is row wise. Now we again define one small matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. This is our matrix. Another operation that can be performed over matrix is calculation of product values of all elements. So we can write Z is equal to P, R, O, D, and A. So it came out to 24. Now, how it comes out to be 24 is 1 this value 1 then multiply by 3 is 3 then 3 in, into 2 is 6 and 6 into 4 64 so like this, this it can calculate the product so we can see another uh, example s is equal to percent s that of polynomial so we can define a matrix, a small matrix like S, S, S1, S first row, S, S2, second row, S, S1. So this is our matrix. Okay. And now we write Z is equal to P, R, O, D product matrix. So you can see this is the product of all the elements. So first S, then into 2 plus S, then that value into 1 plus S and that whole value into 2 plus S. So it comes out to be 8S plus 14S square plus 7S cube plus S bar 4. Then similarly, suppose we have this value. So we can write sum. So sum is equal to your yeah, S is equal to we can see in the remaining element Z is equal to S U M sum of A. So it comes out to be ten. 
Okay, you can add all the values 1 plus 3, 4, 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 4, 10. Similarly, if we have this value and again we want to calculate S U M sum of S V. So this is the sum. Now suppose we have another matrix survey. Suppose I say one zero one. Okay. So this is our matrix with elements one zero one. You have make matrix one. Now if we want to perform logical operations over a matrix, suppose I say Z is equal to or operation over A. Let us see what it comes out to be. It comes out to be true. Why true? Because 1 or 0 or 1 is 1. So it, the re uh, resultant value is 1. So it comes out to be true. Okay. So let us say, let us take another example. Suppose I say B is equal to zeros 1,3. Now I say Z is equal to or B. So here comes out to be F false because the OR value of all the elements is 0. So it is false means 0. F false means low value 0. Let us take another operation over matrix. Suppose you have a matrix, say, let us take another example. What do you say? A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have this matrix. Uh, we want to convert into you know lower triangular matrix so let us say l is equal to t r i chi l lower that then the name of that matrix so you can see it has been converted into lower triangular similarly if i write u is equal to T R I upper that same matrix that convert into upper triangular. These are certain operations that can be performed on matrices so you just try all these operations by yourself so we'll have another sessions on matrix shaping